Thinking about moving to Portland, Oregon soon? Are you imagining a green, forward-thinking, and vibrant city and culture, and you're looking for someone to talk you into it so you finally make your move? I'll be going over the best parts about living here from my perspective of almost a decade of living here, and I'm sure you'll be surprised when I get to the most important thing that is on most people's minds when relocating to Portland. First off, we have some of the most abundant local produce and farmers markets. Because Oregon Oregon has so many farms and growers in its lush climate. Hands down, one of the best things about living in the Pacific Northwest is the abundance of farms and beautiful seasonal fruits, vegetables, meats, and food coming straight from the region. We are surrounded by growers and farmers that sell directly to local produce stores and at farmers markets, so you can get even closer to your food source. Comment down below whether or not you are used to this kind of thing where you live, because I sure wasn't spending a lot of my younger days in Los Angeles. Within the city of Portland, there are 38 local farmers markets supplying all those seasonal goods, so it's very likely that there will be one close to your house and even walkable or bikeable. In other words, the Pacific Northwest is popping with fresh, delicious food for the family. It's pretty special to have so much fresh food all around us as things tend to grow well here and keep us abundant with seasonal goodness. Before I get any farther, if you you are thinking of making a move to the Portland area, I would absolutely love to help with that. People are finding these videos all the time and giving me a call, text, email, or just booking Zoom calls with me. You can find all my contact information right down below this video. So whether you're moving in the near or distant future, make sure you get in touch today. I'm looking forward to hearing from you and helping you buy that perfect home here in Portland. There's also a plethora of unique small businesses, shops, and eateries. Each of the city's six quadrants is chock full of unique small businesses. Think quirky coffee shops, thousands of themed bars, upscale restaurants, food carts, music venues, goods and food, neighborhood hangs, all the fun things. You don't tend to see lots of big chains within the city. That's because many Portlanders prefer to put their dollar towards local businesses. That's part of the culture here. Each neighborhood has its own unique feel with vibrant new businesses popping up all the time, adding to the event evolving culture of the city. We feel a sense of pride around our small businesses and love to not just support them, but live amongst them. One thing that most Portlanders absolutely love is the fact that most residential neighborhoods have a healthy sprinkling of businesses throughout. Whether you're in the Northeast near the famous Alberta Street or Killingsworth or in the Southeast along Division, Hawthorne or even Woodstock, or Mississippi in the North or Milwaukee down in Selwood, the thing that makes this city feel so special is the way that it's got so many of the main vein streets packed with amazing businesses of all types to enjoy. And in one block in either direction of those, you just see stylish houses everywhere along quiet, peaceful tree-lined streets. Speaking of going out and supporting those local businesses, there's no sales tax in Oregon. So you're enjoying all those local businesses and restaurants? Well, if you're coming from a place like California, things can start to feel a lot cheaper on the bill. That said, you might want to wait till you get to Oregon to buy that new laptop or go on that epic shopping spree, you feel me? Portland is designed to be extremely walkable and bikeable. Our city is full of lots of beautiful greenways and for those who don't know, neighborhood greenways are low traffic and low speed streets where we give the priority to people walking, bicycling, and rolling on skates, scooters, or hovercraft if you have one, Marty McFly. Many neighborhoods within Portland proper are extremely walkable and bikeable with residential areas relatively close to businesses, as I mentioned before. Portland is a smaller, more compact city compared to most larger cities, which makes getting around easier and faster. Not to mention, Portland is known for having a small town feel, so it can feel easy to get connected with your neighborhood and build a local community. One of my favorite things to do on a warm summer afternoon is take my bike up the greenway to some other nearby part of town to enjoy a bite to eat or drink or even get some dessert somewhere. Portland is very accessible to all kinds of nature. It's only about an hour and a half to the coast and within about 20 to 30 minutes, you can definitely find a hike to immerse yourself in the forest and explore. But if you feel like driving farther, we are very close to the scenic Columbia River Gorge, which boasts many stunning waterfalls, hikes, rivers, and beaches along the scenic 84 route that takes you in and out of the city. Also nearby are multiple natural hot springs including 
Bagby Hot Springs, Cougar Hot Springs, and more if soaking is your thing. And in the summertime, Portlanders flock to the river beaches to swim and soak up the sun, and many attract large crowds on hot days. Or you could even go out to the coast if you want to escape the heat completely. If Portland is having a triple digit heat wave, you can pretty much count on the coast to be a perfect breezy 70 to 80 degree day. We also have starkly different four seasons, each scenic and gorgeous in its own way. Think damp and drizzly cozy winters with the occasional chance of snow and or ice, but those days always make way for the vibrant blooms and cherry blossoms galore in the spring. Hot summers by the river and a very colorful gold, red, and orange filled fall with leaves everywhere. Portland has a great music and art scene. We have lots of living and working artists in the city and you can feel it. Murals on the side of buildings and on the streets, arts and crafts markets, the Portland Saturday market. There are also so many event spaces, venues, and galleries around town. The Pacific Northwest College of Arts as well as many other colleges and universities that contribute to the artsy feel of the city. There are multiple art walks across the city as well to highlight local art and artists. We have First Thursday in the Pearl, Last Thursdays on Alberta, First Friday in the Central East Side, the Montevilla Street Fair, the Portland Saturday Market, and more popping up all the time. There's also, of course, the Portland Art Museum, which is in fact the largest museum in Oregon with over 42,000 works of art. There are lots of jobs and opportunities available for Oregonians. The greater Portland metro area has lots of businesses and large companies with a plethora of jobs for those seeking a company to join. It's also nurturing to those with their own career or small businesses to get started and grow here. We are home to several large companies, including Nike, Columbia, Intel, Fred Meyer, Portland State University, Adidas, Adobe, Providence, and other healthcare companies. There are multiple colleges and healthcare providers in the city, which all provide lots of job opportunity as well. When you're ready to move here, there will definitely be lots of opportunity to discover or create your own opportunities in the city that loves its local businesses. And if you want a more rounded perspective of living in Portland, I'd recommend checking out my pros and cons video right here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you over there.